So we got some old news today. There's been this story about this man, Sam Melia, and he was po- he was putting around it's okay to be white stickers. And what happened to him? Jail for two years. That's crazy. And the hype's already went down. Nobody's mentioned it on social media. It's no longer popular. This is a problem we keep making. Everyone on social media, perhaps including myself, I don't know, I haven't thought about it, have been led into this. If it's not tre- if it's not a trend, then don't talk about it. So he's no longer the next popular thing. So we can all forget about it and wait for the next guy to be arrested. But that's not how it works. That's good for social media. But it's not good for the purpose, the actual mission of trying to protect freedom in the country. That's going to completely fail if we just keep focused on trends. We care about something, whether depending on whether it's popular or not. This guy. Here's the thing. Even when people were at the peak of their outrage, posting for this is evil. Comprehend it. I actually comprehend it. I don't know if this guy had children. He's 34 though, so he might. Imagine, let's just say you have children. You're seeing what's going on in the country. Yeah, okay. There's, there's maybe perhaps a bit of racism. So let me put some stickers around. And all of a sudden, you're with your wife and two children. Please come knocking at your door. We've seen the stickers you put up. Jail time. In jail for two years. You're walking around a bunch of criminals. You're walking around rapists and, you know, violent violent assaulters, domestic abusers. You're walking around and what are you in for? Ah, uh, put some stickers around. Huh? The tyranny is here. We keep waiting. We keep waiting. You know, I'll wait until they put the CBDCs out. <laughs> we don't wait. Imagine you're in Germany. I'll wait until they start gassing them. That's too late then. You don't you don't wait until they start you, you, you stop it beforehand. You don't What's the issue with you? I, I don't get it. And the reason I'm asking you to fully comprehend this in your mind go like jail for two years. Like I need to tell you something else. The same judge the same judge that sent him to jail for two years had also had someone in court prior, two years prior maybe for having child exploitation images. And he got let off. He got let off. He, he's on the street right now. But a guy putting it's okay to be white up is in jail for two years, separated from his wife and children. Comprehend, I want you to get angry. You need to get angry. Because anger motivates action. Everybody knows that. So does fear. Fear also motivates action. I hope you get really, really scared. And these are good emotions. And it it's all about emotional manipulation so the government will use fear against you will make you really scared so you get the vaccine will get you really angry at the other side so we can divide and conquer i want you to get angry and scared so you stop typing on social media oh they're coming after freedom world war three is gonna start and then do nothing about it i'm trying to encourage you to do something about it get you angry make you think people are getting put in jail for stickers the tyranny is 2024. It's not 20. It's not Agenda 2030 anymore. It's Agenda 2024. It's here right now. So we got to do something about it. And look, mass disobedience works. I might not even really agree with the premise. I don't really think putting it's okay to be white stickers is the most important thing of the today. You know, he could have been fighting for freedom. He's putting stickers. Fine. I don't fully agree with it. But you know what? We should have all just, you know put our beliefs aside, we should have all just started going out, thousands of us, putting the stickers around. They can't arrest thousands of us, right? It's just mass disobedience. Because it's not just about my freedom. I, I don't need to worry about that freedom because I wasn't going to do it anyway. But we're fighting for the freedom of everybody. It doesn't matter if we agree with them or disagree with them. Vegans, you know, I'd fight for their freedom if there were an organisation coming after, like all non-meat products and be like, you're going to ban all plants. I'm like, no, I don't want you to do that. Like these poor vegans over here to try to live their life and you're coming after them. You've got to support everybody's freedom. It's not this like picking sides. Again, the enemy is the elite, the government. And the, the good side, maybe not entirely good <laughs> all around is us, the people. But yeah, we can't keep waiting for the trends like, oh, so this guy gets arrested, but then the, that, the kind of trend goes down. It's not as exciting and cool anymore to talk about it. So then we wait for the next guy to get arrested. And then we wait for the next guy to get arrested. And then we're a fascist state. And you wish you would have done something all the way back now.
It's the same with the laws and legislation. So you've got the hate speech legislation. Fine. The hate speech legislation of five years ago isn't that bad. The reason I oppose it is because of what it's going to go on to. Give them an inch and they want a mile. You know, you let them get low emission zone. Then you let them get ultra low emission zone. Then you let them get paper mile. Then you let them get zoning. Then you let them get ban all petrol diesel cars. And then before you know it, you can't even drive. And you wish you would have done something at just the low emission zones. You know, with these hate speech legislation, what used to happen in Nazi Germany, if you criticised the state to your own family member, your own niece, nephew, auntie, uncle, they would go and report you to the police, you'd be taken away. That's what's going to happen. Sure, you can call me, oh, something a bit conspiratorial, mate. What is happening? It's happening. Man got jailed for two years for putting stickers up that says it's okay to be white. And he let the paedophile off. The tyranny is here. I have to keep reminding you, it's not going to get better. Do you think it's going to get better on its own? It's not. It's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Again, I'm trying to make you feel scared. I mean, I'm not making up either. Sure, I'm trying to make you feel scared, but I'm not making you feel scared with facts and logic right here. Like, it's going to happen. I'm trying to control your emotions a bit. I'm not trying to spread hopelessness. Hopelessness is a thing that people like David Icke will promote. Yeah, simulation, no hope, might as well all kill ourselves, all that stuff, right? We don't want hopelessness. We want fear and anger. Fear and anger, because, I mean, what are we all doing? We're all doing nothing. So I might as well make you all scared and fearful. Because, look, th this is the purpose of my videos here. I'm going to make another video on the propaganda in schools. And I'm going to make you feel scared to have children or to put your children in the schools. Do I want you to live in fear? No. Do I want you to go and do something about it so the future generation does not have their minds brainwashed by radical feminism, LGBT, BLM, and climate change? I, I'm sure you don't. I'm not going to lie to you to make you scared. I'm going to tell the complete honest truth of what I, my personal first-hand experience is. And you can make your own decision. But if you're scared, then go and do something about it. We need to just do the mass disobedience rule. We, we know this is the best way about it. Of course, it's not the final way, because mass disobedience stops future laws. It does not stop the people that are pushing the laws from existing. So we can, they can try to push their CBDCs and go, no, we're not going to comply, we're going to use our cash. But they still exist. The people behind it, the evil people, that want 7.5 billion of us removed from the planet, because we're all useless ears, they still exist, and as long as they still exist, they're going to keep manufacturing mRNA vaccines, they're going to keep making viruses in labs, they're, they're going to keep starting wars in other countries, they're going to keep committing false flag attacks to try and then, in the future, control us under false pretenses, they're going to keep doing it. So it's not the end, it's not the end of it. But if now, the next year or so, whilst, whilst we're on the, the slight pushback, like, now nah, we don't want this law, it's mass disobedience. I, I read an article on the Glasgow Times, and it was something like there's been 35,000 low emission zone fines, in, just in Glasgow alone, 35,000. Can you imagine if 35,000 people just didn't pay the fines? What are they going to do? Well, they're probably going to have to actually s just stop enforcing the law, take the cameras down, it's wasting money. They're going to have to just go, okay, can't do it then, you know? And with the people in London, the Blade Runners, they they run around, you know, getting rid of the, getting rid of all the U.S. cameras. We could do that too. It's not the absolute necessary, but what you could do is just drive through. Everyone should just, you know, drive about in there, get their fine, don't pay it, all protest against it. They go, well, what's even the point? Nobody's. It's like just useless. Everybody's trying to do something. And well, we're all trying to enforce this law, but no, just nobody's listened to it. We can't force them all. We can't put them all in jail. So what could we do? So that's, that's how you beat them, really. That's how you beat the system. It's not even that hard. You just gotta say no. Is that, it really is that simple. So yeah, the absolute minimum we can do, the least we can do right now, is just a mass disobedient rule. Sure, they'll still do arson every summer to try and convince us of climate change, and it might work. They might. Oprah Winfrey, JEWs. They might. They will. But the first step we can do is mass disobedience. So do not comply and long live freedom.